Hi guys, very welcome to not yet another mentor video. I hope you're all doing fantastic as always. So right now we're just gonna have a look at the engine indications and what you can expect when you're starting up the uh, 737-800 uh, engines. So generally speaking, we'll be starting with engine number two. We will obviously have obtained ATC clearance before doing so. We would be talking to the ground. They will be checking that uh, the beacon is rotating outside the anti-collision light and that the area behind is cleared. So providing that we've done this, I'm, not, I'm just going to show you what you're looking for. So we start with putting the engine start switch to ground. So starting engine number two. The first thing you will see, the start valve open illuminating together with the low oil pressure. And you can see that the N2 is starting to rise. That will be the, uh, the first indication that we get. Now we're waiting for N1, the big fan, is starting to move as well. 25% approximately, oil pressure is rising, I would put the start switch, the engine start lever, to idle. Start lever to idle, what I'm now waiting for is for the EGT to start increasing. And there we go, so the EGT is increasing, the N1 and N2 is increasing, we have fuel flow and we've got oil pressure, and the N2 should always be leading the EGT, otherwise you might be facing hot start. Now, what you heard there, was the start switch that moved to off and we also have the start valve open light extinguishing which means that we have started cut out so that is essentially the start cycle done so what we're looking for now is stable end indications we got about 20 percent n1 around 400 degrees uh, egt about 60 percent or so n2 a normal engine indication. So this is stable engine indications. When that's confirmed, we can move over and we can start engine number one. So starting engine number one. Same thing there, start switch to ground, start valve open, low pressure light. N2 is moving. And you can see the little red thing coming up here, that's the EGT start limit. I'm oh, sorry, that's the N2 start limit. EGT start limit is over here. So N1, 25%, start level to idle. EGT light up, got oil pressure, S start a cut out and you only call start a cut out when the light has actually d disappeared. So stable engine indications, these are two good engine starts. Guys, I hope that makes sense to you. If you want to see how to do it in real life and how we did it, then uh, get the Mentor Aviation app and get the setup videos and you'll see how me and Holly did it during the pushback, which is where we would normally start the engines. For now, have a fantastic day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.